can say bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> she does love me. Just not right now. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're new around these parts, hi, my name is Missa. What took you so long to find me? Please don't leave me, please subscribe and stay. I've got attachment issues and abandonment issues very badly and if you leave now, I'll be sad. As you can see by the title, we have a new palette. I think this is my first video of 2020. Apart from my kind of temporary move video. We're gonna play with the Amrezi, Amrezi palette by ABH, which is here. It's bigger than ever before. Instead of giving us 14 shades, they've given us 16. Mine's a bit banged up because I've already used it. But there you go, if you haven't seen it, that is what it looks like. This palette speaks to my soul because I love pinks, I love purples, I'm really into neutrals right now. A pop of blue is always welcome in my book, even though it's kind of obvious. And I think a lot of people really like the look of this palette, like I do, but a lot of people are saying, a lot of people are saying it's very similar to the modern renaissance, to the Riviera, to the soft clam to every single ABH palette basically ever made except for subculture and it is, I, I do feel like it is a very, mm, I want to say generic palette, neutrals, purple and pink, pop of blue, it is very generic. The new thing about it is it's got two pressed glitters which are called Litty and Gemini. I will let me know what you think of pressed glitter in palettes, especially in high-end palettes. Um, that's an interesting discussion. And then yeah, a bunch of mattes, satins, metallics, shimmers, all the jazz. Um, we're gonna swatch it. If you haven't watched my videos before reviewing new palettes, we're gonna swatch it all. And then we're gonna do this on my eyes, this look here, and then I'll give you my thoughts at the end. I also got this very cute mirror. I love these ABH mirrors. I've got like all of them now and I always feel bad keeping them, but I, I really like pink. This is $49. I imagine it's gonna be £49 in Britain, because their other palettes are like £46, aren't they? So it might even be over 50. Maybe 52? What one's 52 that they've got out? I can't remember, so I think it's gonna be really expensive. And yeah, it launches on the 14th on their website, 19th on all other retailers, I think. I got this for free, by the way, I got it in PR. Sorry, I didn't mention that. I got it in PR, I'm very lucky I get ABH PR. Um, so thank you so much to the brand for sending this to me. And I'll answer the question of would I bought it, would I have bought it if it wasn't getting sent to me at the end of this video. Anyway, I've uh, fannied around way too much. I'm losing my train of thought because I'm very, very hungry. What time is it? Yeah, I mean, it's half past four and I haven't eaten yet. So yeah, I'm gonna stop fannying around. We're gonna jump into the swatches. I'm gonna have to get naked because this top is too tight on my jambons. Um, swatches and then we'll do a demo anyway. Shut up, Melissa. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. It might be a little bright right now, but I'll zoom in and we'll we'll see. I'll look at my foundation lines or I don't look at them. Don't look at them. As always, I'm going to swatch down my arm here. Plenty of space. Let's get on with it. You're such a clump, aren't you? Someone needs to... Someone needs to go to Weight Watchers. She's absolutely massive. As always, roll by roll, I'll tell you what the shades are as we're doing it. I actually think I usually do it on this arm. Don't know, yeah. So first up we have Wasted. Not really going to see that on my skin tone. It's a matte with like particles of glitter in it and cat hair. Then we have Barb, which is the shade I used a lot today. Which is pink, but it has like a chartreuse kind of sheen. Like it's duochrome for sure. First of the pressed glitters, we've got Litty. Oh, it's watched a little better than I thought it would. Then we have Cupcake. This looks like from the Norvina One palette, like the original. That's really nice. Oh, I like that shade. Then we have Dragon. Dragon. And then we've got Leo. Our second pressed glitter. Gemini. My camera's focusing on the cat. That was Gemini and then we've got Gorgina. Next row we have Rezi. Rezi? Sorry it keeps on focusing. Rezi which is the bright pink. Then we have Anastasia which is a really pretty metallic. Like I said I'll show you these up close I'm just trying to show you how they swatch. 
Then we've got two that are really, really similar. This one is called New Yorker. And then OG. I just think they're too similar to be in the palette together, personally. Then we've got Shemsa. I use that a lot today. Um, 1988. Look at that brown. Then we have BK, which I think stands for Brooklyn. ABH know how to do a good black eyeshadow. And our last one is Yugo. Why that's watched badly. So that is the palette. That is it there. What do we think of that then? I'll just turn the brightness down. There we go. I'm going to turn it down again. Sorry about Margaret. I don't know. I really like this cupcake shade. And I really like the blue swatched. And you see that top shade? You can barely see it. But that one there is just gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the dual chrome in that pink one. I'm just going to make the swatches look better and then show you. Just I always do this now, just out of interest. So that's what it's like. Just one swatch. Give me one second. There we go. I built up all the swatches. Don't know if you can see how like chunky all the metallics are. This one, you go at the end, swatches terribly. That's like eight passes, but it goes on the eye really well. I think the rest swatch really well. Um this this these two are really annoying me. Are you really gonna notice a huge difference on the eye? I don't think so. So yeah, that's all the swatches. So if you wanna see how we got this look here on my peepers and then hear my thoughts. And just stay tuned. I really have no idea what I'm gonna do and I really suck at just like coming up with looks on the spot and making them look good so let's prime anyway. I'm not gonna use the ABH primer, not that it came with it but um I don't like it which a lot of you know. That was my Revlon Candid Concealer by the way that I'm priming with. I'm actually gonna start off with Shemsa. I think the S is pronounced sh, so Shemsa. I think that is her mum's name. I put this on my outer and inner corner. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade. I'm not trying to like get the most color out of it right now. I'm just trying to somewhat create a look that I can actually upload onto YouTube. I love this kind of purple. And they really needed this matte purple in the palette because if they didn't have it, it would just be all brown neutrals and then pops of like sparkly pink and it would have been a bit weird. I think some people will say this is patchy and they won't necessarily be wrong. I just think that with a couple of layers, it does even out and look better, but it's not like mega perfect on one go. I'm just gonna blend out the edges, see how it blends. I'll probably just join this up in the middle as well. It is blending and softening nicely. I think I'll use New Yorker. New Yorker. New Yorker. New Yorker. I don't know. Holy moly. That is kick up -y. Wow. Right, I've never actually blended out like a shade like this with a neutral, so here's hoping. This is the wrong brush. Oh, the kick up in this shade is like subculture level kick up. <laughs> I've kind of mixed and it's just like a terracotta shade, which is fine if that's what you're wanting. And then I feel like the only shade that I can actually blend that out with is maybe OG is slightly paler, but I'm going to mix it with Wasted, which has actually got a little bit of shimmer in it. We'll see how this goes. These are very kick up -y. I feel like because I do have really pale skin, I need really pale shades to actually blend out edges. And I don't really have that in one shade, but by mixing them, it's actually working. I maybe should have gone in with that purple shade last in my crease. This is just turning out brown. 
I don't want to go straight in with black, although I might end up using it. And I want to still keep it warm, so I'm going to go in with 1988. By the way, I'm showing this upside down, but you get the gist. Major kick off on that shade as well. Wow, that is really deep. And I think if I blend this out with the purple, it will be a nicer vibe. So I've got that on looking super stark, quite scary. Should have just started out with this at the beginning, but you live and you learn. So I'm gonna go back in with Shemsa, the lovely matte purple, and hope that I can blend this edge with it. This is gonna be so much more dramatic than I meant it to be. I'm going to go back in with OG mixed with Wasted because OG is just, it's quite dark on my skin tone. So it won't blend very much, it's just going to add lots of brown. Um, so I just want to be quite careful about blending this out. So far, having played with it for like 22 minutes. I feel like this palette would be great for people with like medium to deeper skin tones especially because these colours are very vibrant and I'm actually struggling to blend the edges because there isn't enough like light shades so I feel like, not that I know for sure, but I feel like this could actually work for people with medium to deep skin tones pretty well. My memory card filled out, so I just threw on my halo. I'm gonna go in with Barb. It's not a Morphe brush that doesn't have a name. I'm gonna try it dry first and then see if it'll maybe be a little bit better wet. We'll see. This is like the spitting image of a Huda shade. I'll need to find which palette it's in. It's like the exact same thing. It's a baby pink with like a green reflect to it. I even think it's maybe pulling more green on camera. I do love it. This is like one of my favourite kind of colours to play with. It's so reflective. How stunning is that? Mm. I'm just going to try wetting it just for like the top of my cut crease. Does anyone else have that Huda spray? And it is literally just hairspray. I'm not convinced it goes beautifully though with like the shades I've used in my crease because it is very green and my crease is very warm. I really want to use the shade Ritzy because I think it'll go really nice with that blue on my lower lash line. But I also really like Cupcake, I think would be nice, but that might actually be a little too subtle. So I'll use, um, sorry, Resi. Do I say Ritzy? This is a shimmer too. It feels like quite a dry shimmer, so I feel like it's going to work better wet. But we'll see. Weird, it's like kind of like a matte shimmer. I don't know if that makes any sense. I do feel like it'll go on better wet. I'm gonna try it a little wet just to see if it gets a little bit more metallic looking. Yeah, don't worry, I will blend it. Yeah, it's weird. I feel like ABH has that kind of metallic formula that when you touch it's really, really wet. This is like really dry, but the one in my Mitchell palette, I would say is nicer. I'm going to use a little bit of the shade Anastasia. Do you say Anastasia or Anastasia? Just between those two shades that I've used. Honestly, because I want to use as many colours as possible. But it's like a rose gold pink. So I feel like it'll merge them really well. Um, and then I'll go back in the centre with a bit more barb. I feel like that's like the perfect shade for that resi, the 
bright pink. I've kind of gotten rid of my center shade, but like I said, I'll re-add that. But let's put like blending shades on the outside. I think I'll just use more Shimsa, this one here. Because I want to keep this gorgeous purple as much as possible. And not have too much brown. And then more of that center shade Barb. I'm going to wet it straight off the bat. I think just to add, yeah, a little bit more definition. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna use the shade Yugo down here. I'm just gonna like tuck that in the very inner corners and the very outer corners as well. Right, I'm gonna clean up the fallout. I do have some, put on my base and then we'll come back, I'll draw the lower lash line and we can finally use first time touching. This blue, oh my goodness. That is speaking to my soul. Okay, so base is mostly done as you can see and the main thing I wanted to do with the under eyes was use the blue. I feel like it's not that popping, I don't know. It's kind of there, it's not that interesting. I also just put on a tiny little bit of black eyeliner just because when I put on my lashes it'll be easier. I'm going to use the ColourPop Piggy Bank liner. These are great. And I'm very pigmented. I'm going to go in with Yugo first. Oh, I'm in focus. I'm going to put this like halfway along my lower lash line. I'm using the smallest amount of product because when I come to lower lashes, I just worry about fallout. Same brush, I'm picking up New Yorker. New Yorker. New Yorker. I'm just never gonna get that right. I'm gonna kind of blend this out. I love the neutrals in this palette, they're literally perfect neutrals for my pale skin. Even though, to be honest, I did use a foundation that was three shades too dark for me today. Just because I wanted to have a bit more colour. And then I'm going to use OG and I'm going to mix it with Wasted, that pale one. I'm going to drag this into the inner corner. And just blow all this. And then I'm going to go in with Shemsa. Same brush. Can't find my Jess up to 30. So that's why I'm using this one. So we'll do the blue now, which is called Leo. And honestly, I'm just gonna use it wet straight off the bat because it just applies better. I did try it dry on the other eye. I'm gonna use my Morphe spray because the Huda spray makes my eyes water really badly when I put it there. Along the front. I do love this like pop of blue in the lower lash line, but I feel like you can't really see it in my folds. Oh, I'm getting so much fallout, even though I am um, wet the brush and tapped off the excess. I don't know, there's just like, I feel like in the pan this blue looks like it's going to be really popping and on the eye, popping, 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 I'm not cool enough to say things. I just feel like on the eye it's a little bit more dull. I have a lot of fallout though. Yeah, you really have to put like quite a few layers on to make it really bright. Cause this side I put a bit more on than I have here. I'm just scared about fallout so I don't want to keep applying it on camera. And inner corner, I'm going in with Barb, that one. I'll throw on a lash and a lip and then we will see how it looks because right now I'm not like super like overly happy but it's all right so I'll be back in two seconds with the nice lashes on I hope. So I put on my lashes, put on a lip, I'll link what everything is down in the description box and I'm done with the eyes. I hate them, I absolutely hate the look that I've done. It's just, I don't know, it's not great, but it's not really about that. It's about how they apply, doesn't how they blended and the pigment. I just think, why well, mostly you've done a bad job. I've kind of forgotten how to do eyeshadow, so forgive me. 
if you don't mind. So the palette, the shades I used, very pigmented. I feel very blendable. The mattes have quite a lot of kick up. So do the shimmers, to be honest. The Leo shade and Barb. Like, I don't know if you can see how chunky that looks. And Barb as well. And you can see all of my, like, fallout from my brush. They are very kick up -y, but that's kind of standard with ABH formula, I feel like they're always really kick up -y and you do kind of lose a lot of product. But I feel like they went on the eyes well, sometimes you need to wet them, sometimes you don't. I think the look came out fine, like if, like in terms of how it applied and stuff. It's just a standard ABH formula, I like ABH, <laughs> I like ABH formula, I think it's good, I think it's really good, do I think it's the best eyeshadows I ever used? No, but it's certainly up there, they're very very good. I really love the neutrals in this palette, they're really fudgy and caramelly and just perfect and what I like in a neutral. I also really love the shimmers. The blue is very pretty, I'll need to test that like over my lid because underneath it's just a little bit lost under there, it's not really adding much but it's just a little pop so I think it's alright. Um, this pink shimmer, Reezy, I feel like could have been better, could have been more like the Mitchell one. Um, yeah, I mean, I used as many as I could in one look and it's good. My biggest complaint, probably there's not a light enough blending shade. I feel like a lighter purpley pink matte would have been good or if this was matte because it's definitely like got shimmer in it. I could see the glitter in my crease. Or even like one of these could change because they're so similar. You don't really notice the difference. One of those could be a much lighter matte so that on pale skin tones it's easier I'm out of focus aren't I? So yeah that on pa pale skin tones it'd be easier to blend out because I feel like I've kind of got there but I've not it's not I don't know it could be lighter I wanted to use a single eyeshadow like a light peach or a light light kind of skin tone colour just to blend out the edges but obviously I didn't. But on the whole I mean yeah really nice I like that it's got two extra shades although obviously now it's not going to match the rest of them. To me it's just very much a neutral palette, shut up dog, with a couple of pops of colour like the blue and I guess the bright pink. Apart from that I feel like it's very 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 wearable in my opinion, like for me it's very wearable. Like a lot of other people I'm not that keen on pressed glitter in palettes at all. I think they get really messy, glitter gets everywhere and also I just I don't think pressed glitter in palettes is necessary and it's kind of weird coming from ABH, it feels a bit cheap to be honest even though this is incredibly expensive. Um, so yeah I'm not a massive fan of that but it's very smooth, pretty colours, very kind of standard, I don't know I think maybe one of them could have been a bit more of an exciting colour like really bright purple or pink but there we go, I mean they are different, they're just kind of neutral shades. On first impressions, I like it. It's a nice palette, standard ABH formula. If you like ABH formula, I think you will like this. It's definitely good. I like it. I'm glad I have it to play with. Would I have bought it? Probably not, but now I've got it, I'll do a few more looks with it. If you want, I want to do like a, just more of a neutral look. I know I keep saying it, but I really want to. I want to wipe this off immediately and do a neutral look, but my eyes won't water too much. Anyway, I hope this was helpful in any way. Might not, might have been, might not have been. Let me know if you've picked it up, are you planning to pick it up? I think it launches in a couple of days when you're seeing this video. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did enjoy this video and if you did find it helpful, please do give it a big massive thumbs up. It really, really helps me out. Also, subscribe down below, just down here, just down there. And leave me a comment, anything you want. I love comments. I want to say a massive thank you to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on Patreon. I really hope you're enjoying our live videos. We do live videos every week now and also we have a WhatsApp group which is insane and I had to add like 300 numbers to my phone and it was very stressful but it's a very fun group and we all just share random pictures of whatever we're doing and stories of chronic pain and it's great. So if you want to become a Patreon the link is in the description box and like I said you get early access to videos as well as the live videos and you can join the WhatsApp group as well as, well as the Discord that we're going to set up. But if you can't or don't want to become a Patreon, don't worry about it. Just keep watching my videos with some massive support. And on that note, I will piss off and do my intro and all my swatches. So, catch you on the phone. Bye!